Now, the last thing I'd like to say, I think you mentioned uh, something about misspelled words, and it's not really north or something. Who oh. thinks that? Okay, well, I'd be glad to meet anybody over there. We, I looked for misspelled words. There was a run on word, but I didn't that, see it. Calumet, misspelled wrong. Calumet. And so maybe I think that maybe the word, yeah. And how do you spell C A L U M E T? Okay, so do you think? I think that was on the back side, but the front side is new, and yeah. it did have the new compass, and it is okay, so properly aligned. Yeah, okay. it's nice. And so the cow you met, you think? I, I know that was misspelled, and I remember there was something else. Uh, and then well, if you want to meet me over there, anybody wants to meet me over there, we, we, if you want to meet me over there sometime, we'll just look I'm at right it down together. <laughs> you want to do that? I can give you my phone and bring you this thing I'm over here. I'll try over here. OK, any other discussion on the kiosk? Thank you, for, you? Your, thank you for your tenaciousness. Yes. Maybe by uh, June 11th, we'll be done. I think so. Yeah, I would think so. I would definitely think so. Yeah. Back on the agenda. <laughs> yeah. No, I think it looks pretty, in general, it, it looks does. good. It's, the rocks are nice. It's attractive, and I think it lets people know that Warren just wasn't just some half assed kind of town built. It had a purpose. One of the things, like you mentioned, though, is once it got started, after a few years, it kind of dropped off. It was supposed to be Southwest style homes, and then it became California bungalow. And there was a general losing of interest more than, you know, the, the George Henry uh, Warren, Warren and Henry Miller, the landscape architect who worked on the uh, city park project, they kind of lost interest and they all went back east because uh, I went on a hike with uh, Boyd Nickel, who gave a uh, presentation in Old Bisbee, and he said it was a big deal having Bisbee. It was a lot. It was a big. It was a big event because uh, lights were just coming out and cars were coming out. And then I think Bisbee kind of we went through a phase. Oh man! And then everybody went back east, and the guy Bisbee never even came to Bisbee. You kind know of what I mean. Well, case. there was the war. That's right, World War One. Yeah, and the deportation, yeah. they were busy doing yeah, that. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff yeah. going on. And so that's why I think uh, Warren itself wasn't developed more with the major theme, you know, it kind of petered out. <laughs> Short run. But. Okay. All right, new business discussion on how to celebrate the opening of the pool. First, I think we need signage to get people to the pool. Mm -hmm. We talked about that before. What kind of signage? You know, like a blue sign with white letters that's uh, on a street pole. So by directionary the Iron Man. signs yeah. up to the pole? So from Tombstone Canyon? Yeah, yeah, at the Iron Man. I don't know where. And then maybe. Where do you have to? It would have to go like behind. I don't know if they'll let you put stuff on the courthouse annex. Yeah, it's county property, so. But they're, they're always saying it's not county parking, it's city property or something like that. So maybe, I don't know, but get people to take that left, go up, take that left. Yeah, it just they, people don't know. They don't know where it is. So free hot dogs, right? And mm -hmm. free, free admission. admission. Yep. Will there be lap swim on the first day? No. Hmm. It's on Saturday. <laughs> Well, there's lots of them every day, usually. Um, we have it going from 10 to 3 p.m. for the celebration, so. Um, no, I, I would I like to do it. I think we're doing a grand opening, yeah, so no, no, that will be the me. grand opening. So then things after the grand opening. So we have crepe paper and glitter and all that stuff <laughs> to get into the pool. <laughs> glitter. Um, I ordered a banner. Um, a very large one, thanking all the people that had anything to do with the pool on it. And um, unfortunately, we were going to be having a water slide, the one that we had for the wreck last year. But last year in Mesa, there was a little boy killed. <laughs> He's 10 years old, and some people injured from water slides, so none of the insurances are carrying. Oh, man, one kid ruined it for everybody. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's still windy. Uh, 
you know, <coughs> and that wasn't it the wind? Yeah, that's exactly. So they won't ensure anything over four foot outside of normal stuff. Um, Cynthia told me, she's like, I'll do the water slide, I'll get your insurance. So we're going to have it for two days. So it says on the banner we have a water slide. But she told me she wasn't going to do it because the cheapest she could get was for a whole year of insurance for $6,500. Wow. She said she called a lot of folks. So Because John, been... John Everhart covers us for like a 24-hour period for the garden tour. Um, but then it's not as much. Um, I don't think it's going to be the same, same with same this. Uh, yeah, 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 I think all the insurances are treating those kind of like busy fire risk at this point. So. Right. Well, I wanted to thank the city for getting the pool done. I mean, we've been watching it, and it just it looks gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, thank you. Us. You're welcome. Yeah, we're going to be yeah. painting the building and surrounding stuff on Monday. So they start pressure washing today. We'll get our DOC guys back on Monday. That'll so be... the plants? Um, actually, I was looking at that. We're going to trim some stuff up. That one bush on the right, I think. I'm not saying we'll yank that out because it's like overhanging. But well, we were be, going to. Yeah, it can just be trimmed back. I'll try to go over there and trim it back. If you guys want to go ahead and trim it, it you'd probably be better at it and happier with what you do than what <laughs> my guys so, will. So you want to happier. Yeah. <laughs> trim things away from the wall. Yeah, we and, need and to then, be able to get all the surface cleaned and then up. In front. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I trimmed them back a couple of months ago, but they grow again. Something wrong with that. Yeah, yeah, Except when you try to paint, I guess. Yeah, yeah, great. Go back to the celebration. Um, hot dogs and a banner. Nothing to replace the water slide. <laughs> um, the water slide was pulled out. Oh, for that. Yeah, no, just, I, you know. I mean. What else? Right? I don't. If you guys have some suggestions, it's definitely um, the midnight hour. Yeah. And the, the hot dogs are provided how? Okay. Suggestions are you, for no, is it hot dogs? Are you grilling them or are they just no? No, it's going to be Jacks. We're having a vendor, a food vendor, okay. so he's going to be providing up to three hundred dollars for it, three hot dogs and lemonade, and then after that, he'll be probably selling to folks right. and whatnot. So that's, that's get there early. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, if we have a crowd there, it'd be nice if people knew that there was that other parking lot. Yes, that's. Um, something we're actually we actually talked with the police to make sure they would have that area cleared out. Let those folks know we're gonna need this space. There's a couple of buses or vans or yeah. There's one folks that own an RV that's up there. They have and then there's the gray bus that has been up there forever. Or at the beginning of Naco, those are the two spots I see it. So so what's the deal with people parking up there forever? And up it's a there? it's a city lot. It is city property so i mean what it comes down to is just enforcement right so if we want to do the whole game hey you can only be parked here for 48 hours with city code the cops going to mark the tire the guy drives it forward about six inches and starts over the clock so until we actually have something a little more um we could put up a sign and everything but we need something in the code that really supports that sign more than anything so is that the parking lot behind? Yes, yeah. Uh -huh. I was just thinking that that park's getting a lot of use, and people knew that they could park there, and that it was a city lot. Yes, we will. We were talking about doing additional parking and doing some signs for that as well. Pool parking sign this way. Mm -hmm. So. And I haven't walked through there in a while, but cut down the dry grass and stuff. Oh yeah, it's all cleaned up. Cleaned up. Okay. They said they. Today they painted all the curbs, striped everything, the gazebos have all been painted, so. That's looking good. And watering. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. Anything else about the celebration? Any ideas to, I mean, I think just that. A band. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. That's no, music. It's not. Just to, that it's over. And maybe, and, and maybe someone would, you know, offer, you know, some city loan. Both. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, my little brother's in two bands, so and he knows a lot of the musicians. So I'll I'll reach out and see. I'll talk to see, but I, I'm sure we wouldn't have problems for it. It's a power to find the spot for people to play some music. That would be nice. Yeah. That would be nice. Yeah. And you know, if we can't do that, maybe I'll talk to see about getting um, Raul um, Plumbing. He does DJing too, so he does the um, for the festival of lights for us. Oh. I do think that's a good idea, though. What are the songs? 
Yeah. <laughs> boys. Just to get some stuff from like the sandlot or something else, some of my older <laughs> stuff. So I was like, we're having trouble getting lifeguards. I'm like, it's more movies like the sandlot. I don't want to be a lifeguard. <laughs> that. Yeah, why is it doing a good job anymore? Why don't kids want to be. They don't want to be cheerleaders either. Yeah. It's not cool anymore. I don't want to move. I think when. We get some swim lessons going next week. We'll try and get it this year, but uh, we've got a lot going on. But we need to get swim lessons into a permanent program mm -hmm. so that we can provide, because a lot of it is people worry about not passing the test. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. Uh, and junior, at least have junior life guys. I don't know exactly how that worked. Um, I don't know if they just shadowed the senior life guards or you know, worked in the office. I think it had to do I don't know, I thought it was an age thing and whether they yeah. didn't like pass it, they passed part of it, but not all of it kind of too. Oh, yeah, I thought it was more like 14 and 15 year olds. You're probably right, yeah. yeah. Have you guys hired? Um, we have uh, 11 applications, yeah, so, and we're going to have a big group pretty much that they're putting in and there's no red flags and they're getting hired probably, so. Okay, well, yeah. I've been trying to talk to adults who might be big reception. <laughs> <laughs> Any adult applicants yet? Um, yeah, Joel said we have a few of those. So we should have enough to sustain everything. Um, off the topic of the opening, but I'll go ahead and say that we are hoping to get somebody specifically just for the front desk, catch, and scheduling. We don't know if we're going to use the pool manager title yet. We obviously would like an adult to do it. Um, an adult that's into um, conflict resolution and not any kind of and side teenagers. <laughs> yeah. So not, not picking fights with the adults. Yeah. 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 And that is something when, when I when we talk to these guys, we're gonna be talking about customer service. That's a really big conversation. And we have very specific details. Your lifeguard standing right out, go shower, you're not wet, go back in. And then also we'll be rotating them. The pool will just be open. Like there's not going to be any shut down while they go to lunch or anything. They'll have 30 minutes and then they rotate. And we'll make lunch work in that. So So you'll go right from lap swim to general swim? Yep. So pretty much it'll be like, I think I was saying, 11.30. Yeah, yeah. we'll, we'll start giving warnings. So that that's, there'll be something else procedurally they'll do. We're going to bring five minute warning or two minute warning. Hey. You're going to have to get out soon. Well, and to get the lap lanes out. Yep. And so they'll be pulling those out while everybody's getting out. And then pretty much open swim will start right after that. So, and then they can do their old bunch and everything. So. It's nice to hear there's a good plan. Yeah. Is it one time we talked about having like a manual? Yeah. Yeah. Do I was going to work on it? She was working on it. We haven't gotten any, like, it's together, but we. We're still working on all the details. Like one of the things was lightning, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to make that very clear. We're going to have it posted what we're following, what we're doing, right? It's not going to be dependent. This is what it is. This is the app we're using, so that if people want to, you know, like they say we're shutting down, we'll be able to see the exact same thing, and it'll be clear parameters, right? We don't know if that's going to be. I need to do some research to make sure we're doing the right thing. Um, with that, so it's kind of involved with the opening of the pool. So, if you guys have any more questions with that stuff, I don't have a problem asking, answering. Did, did you get your shower heads? No, I did. Are you rested? Yeah. I imagine we have some shower heads in the pool. Yeah. I have a number of swimmers who are offering to buy the shower heads. We're not that destitute. I'm pretty sure we do that. So. But only for themselves, and they'll take them back with them. They'll show on and they'll show them with me. Bring your own flower stick. Even our water, they get caught in there, so we yeah. just need to oh, I know, yeah. It's my house, too. Yeah, it hurts when it uh, hits you. Water. Okay, next slide. Number two discussion of possible recommendation on guidelines on park rental permits. I think Deb had a about this one up. Yeah, so for two weekends running in April, um, the park was, uh, Higgins Park was rented out and to overnight camping. And so I had a couple of points, but the, the first point I wanted to, to clarify.
clarify is, um, should we be renting out city parks and having overnight camping? Mm, I guess it depends on, I mean, right now it is an option in the fee schedule and everything. Um, let's talk about the pros and cons. Pros, there's a lot of people coming to town, increases the business. Um, I mean, that's a economical aspect of it, downfall. It removes some of the amenities for you guys doing pickleball and just being comfortable with the parking. parking. Or parking, right. yeah. Uh, campers have been coming for years and years and been putting their tents out on the grass, and that's been really pleasant. So I, I, get, I imagine they have to get a permit. I'm sure they get a permit. Yeah, maybe they just but, yeah, Some of the RVs were parking on the grass. We, they did it that one day, and Eva that was running that whole thing was talking to us. So there's a misunderstanding. Job. They asked, hey, can we park these teardrops, these little tiny ones that, you know, not much more than when we pull our trailer down below the motorhome. So I guess yeah, fine, just these small ones. And then he came back later, and there's full size stuff on there. Yeah. And yeah. we didn't kick them out that one night, and we made them leave the next day off of it so that we don't even just. Just so it's in their mind, they're not going to be doing that next year at all. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. But the tents are okay, right? The tents I, are not. I mean, we thought the tents it. were, it, it, you know, for the, uh, it was a bicycle group, the uh -huh. They had, you know, just tents and then an RV <coughs> to serve breakfast, but they were um, in the parking lot and we've uh -huh. always been respectful and watched. Yeah, the two that, you guys are talking about the weird wild west and van life, I believe, is what yeah. they were. Yeah. So, does the city make, actually make any money on that? <coughs> no. No. So, that's what I heard. That the, the city doesn't
to grant the parks, then we should have clear guidelines of what's allowed in those parks. I mean, you know, when I saw the RVs out there, I'm thinking, even if it's a small RV, if it's sitting on top of the sprinkler head, <laughs> that's not good. Yeah. And it, it doesn't, this, I don't think it's the city provided them with clear guidelines that this is what's allowed in the lot. I agree, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, I mean, it's one of those things, especially from that whole situation, it's, we didn't have it then, but I mean, that's why we kicked them out the next day. Mm -hmm. What you're talking about, I think, is just really uh, revisiting our code mm -hmm. and and getting a little more specific on what is okay and what's not. Yeah. Which I don't think that's a bad thing necessarily at all. People will play loose and fast if they can. Yeah, and it's, you know, they can make money on it. Yeah. And then it's, the city has to go in there and Maybe using the restrooms. Well, you know, if anything, we could adjust our fees to cover any, you know, those types of expenses that might happen, especially if they're charging 200. In fact, maybe that's what we should look at: is a certain percentage. What are you charging to rent? And we get a certain percentage oh, of whatever you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. So. And make oh, them put a deposit idea. down, a damage deposit. That yep. Thing. Yeah. I really like that actually. Yeah, that's great. So two, I'm going to put your recommendation to not. Um, so is that way? We got everybody on that. So there's no voting. But what is all your guys' recommendation? I guess. So do you want to well, my, my recommendation is that. that no overnight. Yeah, that it would be days on. Okay. I agree. Mm -hmm. And I like that, that the bicycles can come. They don't have a bunch of cars and they don't take up parking. You know, they just have a bicycle with a small tent. And, and it's so if it's so that would be specified. That yeah, would, right. So that was versus, an exception. Versus RV. Yeah, I mean, exception. Yeah. But I mean, they've been doing it for 15, 20 years. Mm -hmm. So they're going to be bothered in doing something. <laughs> I'm sure you told your kids that. <laughs> I just, you know, I, that someone else ruined it for people that have taken good care of our park for all these years and not you know, caused a problem. And, you know, we're, we're kind of, you know, we're coming toward being more bicycle friendly. And so, and so that would be a problem. Um, yeah, I guess I wouldn't, I don't object so much to the overnight. I think, yeah, a couple of nights. I, I think you raise the fees and pay the, pay the, usually they'll pay the fee, you know, just to make it worth their while, you know, for the city. Yeah, I'm cool with a couple of overnight camping yeah. events. Yeah. So, how about this? How about you guys make a recommendation for us to look at this? Uh, basically, to just take a closer look, review the three schedules and rules for using the parks. And then we can put some stuff together or whatnot and go through or actually see what's going on. Is there a motion? Uh, what he said? <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> I think we're yeah, recording we should, now. We should give a general recommendation to review the guidelines for uh, park, park permits, especially looking at Higgins. Park, but I guess any any park. Yeah, um, we, we don't we don't want to go to Vista at yeah, some point. I mean, Vista's got lots of flat space. Yeah, you know, so whole small RVs. Yeah, that's for for two days. parking. <laughs> oh, RV parking in the parks in city on city property. Mm -hmm. um, is there a motion? That's a mo that's my motion. Yeah, so I think. <laughs> so I second. Make a motion, I second. Recommendation to review the guide. guidelines for overnight parking. RV parking in the, on city property? I, I would say that. to review the guidelines for overnight use of the parks. And then they can, in their guidelines, they can say, we like tents and we don't like you know, really big RVs or we don't like Winnebago's or whatever they come up with. Point Vista Park, that'd be a great place. Tents. Right. I mean, and Warren is starting to play, getting more jacked up with. Establish once more in peace, the ballpark. Brewery. Yeah, send them over there. We had a time huh? with it. <laughs> send them over to Vista. Yeah. Okay, so do we have a motion? I move that we ask the city to 
um, review, is it the code? <coughs> All right, um, um, rules and regulations. I'd say review and update park rental guidelines and whatever that might be in. So, yeah, I think that'd be fine. <laughs> Recommendation to review and update park rental guidelines slash code um, along as well as the schedule, the renting, yeah. or yeah. the yeah. schedule. Yeah. Okay. Is there a second to that um, motion? Rules. So that was my motion when he said that. Yeah. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. So next, so that will be on the next uh, park. So will you come back with guidelines? With yep, we'll turn off the guidelines that we do have. We'll probably bring a permit as well, and we can review that. And um, I think with this statement, we can do we might be able to do a work session or something almost for that specifically yeah. if we're going to. Because honestly, you guys are the ones that you know looking at that stuff. That's the kind of work that we should be doing as a group too. You review that type of thing, make recommendations. This would be better served for the city, we think, and the residents with this type of guidelines or fee schedule. So, okay, right. Maybe we'll have somebody from the public. <laughs> hey, <laughs> just start putting the paper, you will. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the um, farmers market people. Or the jungle people. Yeah. This is a big meeting and nobody's here. I thought, you know, this seems like a lot on the agenda. That's only yeah. But you know, it's really only posted at, at City Hall. Right. I guess in the post office. Is it on the website too? Isn't it on that bulletin board in the post office? Don't they? I've never noticed. Oh, at the post office outside? No, inside. You walk in the post office and there's the boxes with all your Amazon packages and then the posters. Yeah, I've never noticed. Uh, I've never told anybody to put it there myself. So if it is, get in there. Yeah, it's usually at city hall, so nobody knows. But that's a good idea, too. I mean, um, and we do have these uh, posted on, and honestly, they probably are on the website, but our website yeah. is just needs a little, it's not the smoothest. It's hard, it's hard to get around. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Number three, gazebo and upper vista. So I, that's me. Um, I was there the other day. It really looks unsafe. Agreed, 100%. I think that those slippery tiles for mm -hmm. one. Um, some, oh, okay, that is an upgrade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, someone said wow. that I worked in the parks in the 70s <coughs> when that was built that immediately kids came and threw rocks at the tiles. The tiles. So it's <laughs> been in disrepair from day one, I guess. So this is new. That is new. That oh. is, I, I did, um, the Project Wildlife folks asked me a while ago, yeah, they have nice. about $8,000 in ARPA money that oh. Steve provided them for a shelter. Okay. So And that big? They agreed to that big? That is a 30-foot shelter. So yeah. that part of the money that they got for that whole project from Freeport as well as Arizona Water for the watering system was um, to have an outdoor classroom type thing. So the goal would be able to have the kids come down from Lowell and have a biologist or project walk that Doug Danforth or somebody do some classes and stuff. So with a 30 foot gazebo, that would be able to a little more comfortably put in 15 kids, you know, you got two feet and a teacher up there. Well, and that's $8,000? No. <laughs> no, it's not. In fact, uh, the gentleman <laughs> said he emailed me the price and I have. So this is not a rendering, this is the actual. No. No, they're going to do it. This, mm -hmm. is, this is a off of Icon Shelters. You guys can look. It's a website. Um, they're out of Mesa. They're all nationwide, but the gentleman I'm talking to is out of Mesa. So, that's pretty um, nice. <laughs> so, Sloan and Danielle Bouchebe, you know, about five or six or seven or eight or nine or ten years ago, they were going to do a pavilion um, somewhere in the middle of this day. Restore the old pavilion. The dance so pavilion. It used to be the dance pavilion where the market is. Well, that, yeah. That's yeah, I think they were getting, it was going to be up. Yeah, I'm not sure. Anyway, so they may be willing to yeah. you know, do some. So what was the estimate? Um, I, he didn't, he said, I texted him and he said he emailed it, but I'm... But you're not seeing it? I haven't seen it, yeah. But that could be a, a fundraiser. That I'll tell you, I'm guessing it's around twenty to 30000 mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Okay. That's really cool. That Have you guys nice. been out there? It's it, really nice. 
No. It is. Yeah. It's really coming along. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's I'm blooming. excited in a few years, especially. It's blooming now. It's just, awesome. I just went like yesterday. It's, just oh, really it's gonna be on the garden tour again. It's really nice. Okay, so what? So what's you've got eight thousand dollars. So what's the plan? The plan of what I'm recommending, if we want to do something like this, is we'll hit up Freeport again. <laughs> Push bays. Um, I want to use that money as a match, probably, and try and find a grant, whether it's through the state parks or someone. And there's a good possibility with them, because at the Project Wildlife, when we did it, they said they got lots of stuff, especially supporting that type of thing. And that would be an outdoor classroom. So that's what we're looking at. We'll have to, this is one I found. I talked to Doug a little bit, and he thought this looks better, because it kind of matches the homes a little more, the craftsman style. You suppose you have that Santa Fe gazebo. Mm -hmm. It looks like Mesa. <laughs> I don't know where it's from, yeah. We wouldn't have Me the too. raised step. It'd just be, I would imagine, having that pretty level, you know, foundation, not steps, just right there, because that's all. So, you would put up. where the old gazebo is, or above the new... Um, we would take that one out, top. and then put this one in, so. Great. Yeah. Okay. Really nice. Anything else about the gazebo? So yes. does, the, does the city have any funds to contribute, or would it all be? The Steve will tell you he gave $8,000, I imagine. But, um, you know, depending on how close we get, I, I'll absolutely try and get them to make it happen, so. Yeah. Okay. Great, thank you. Yeah. So the cedar tree in Laura Vista, it looks um, like caution tape. I imagine there's something going on there. Right? Yes, that tree needs to come down. Uh, Did they drill it? You no, know? I mean it needs. It's we have that up because it's not safe. So yeah. when that last branch, not the last one that came down, but the one before that, Josh and Dan and put foam in it, and they put steel wool so we wouldn't get things coming in. So when that other branch fell off, if we hadn't done that, you'd be able to see right through it, that section uh, right there. Cool. <laughs> Tunnel. <laughs> so it sounds like it probably needs to come down. Yeah, and when we had the arborists come and trim that one and everything else, two different arborists said it's not, they didn't think it was going to last probably. What about last, the, probably. the other one down The other there? one needs some work too. It, he told me when he came and did that one, it had been struck by lightning at some point. So it's actually got a big split too oh. at some point higher up that they can see. Lots of cedar of Lebanon, which there's only like 300 left in the whole world. Oh my gosh. People are kind of pissed about that tree. It, which the, one? It, the, both of them. Well, the one that, you know, the... Both. You're saying both. coming down. Yeah, I talked to a lot of people at the market, and you know, Tracy's one of them. <laughs> she hasn't been around, but I know her feelings on the tree. Oh, absolutely. People but will be people upset. are really, yeah. Uh, there was somebody going to show up here to talk about the tree, but you know, I know it has to. What would you it's determined if it's with? dead, it's dead. I mean, uh, Matt is looking. It will be replaced with not a little water. Baby, but a nice material. Right. Actually, I think he already looked at something. And, I mean, I want to say it was around this size. And it was 5,000. I don't recall what tree it was. It might have just been a ash, Arizona ash. Which is great shade. They grow they fast do. and well. So the ones in... Um, Except for ash boards that are on their way here. <laughs> The ones in uh, Grassy Park were planted seven or eight years ago, and those are $1,000 each. And people um, uh, supported that they sponsored those. And they have done really, really well. That might be you know, maybe a $5,000 tree. Yeah. That's a little scary. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I bet people would contribute. Yeah. 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 But I, you know, for the, I think one reason why they are doing so well is they planted them during the monsoon on a cold, rainy day, and it was just a beautiful thing. Yeah, and yeah. in the fall is yeah. always good. Yeah. But there is an emerald ash borer um, that is making its way across the United States, and it basically kills the tree. It's an exotic. Even, even Arizona ash? Um, even Arizona ash, and, and I know it's in Colorado. I'm not sure oh, how far down it's come. It would be sad to. So but if it got here, I'm four ashes, I think, in my ears. So. Yeah, it would be bad. Yeah, there's lots of nice trees that would so be. So, Hest, let's get them.
it's a it's a um, it's a beetle. It's a borer. So the the female lays her eggs, and then when the eggs hatch, it's a, a lar the larval stage. Um, yes. Yeah. Well, ask we the spruce bark beetles. Yeah. It's it's kind of like a. a Sounds bark like beetle. yeah. That, that's sad. It just dries them out. They just turn yeah, into just black big, sticks. And it goes pretty fast. Oh. Oh. We've got bark beetle on so many trees. Yeah. So, yeah. Honestly, I, I would like to have that thing taken down, but I think everybody is so worried about what's going to happen. But, I mean, it's, I mean, it's not down safe. Down. The next big windstorm, we're going to lose another branch until it's just... Cut down a tree, everybody's going to... Well, hopefully you can replace it quickly and not... Yeah, have months and months and months. No, 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 that's how we'll have the other tree lined up. And, yeah. When I talked with the by faith landscaping, Jorge, and he they checked that out, he said... He wouldn't use the same hole, but he wouldn't move it far. It'd be a couple of feet over, and they'd drill down, they'd pull out as much as they could or whatnot with that roots and everything, oh. and just oh, pop the yeah, new tree. Oh, that would be have great. Have drill yeah. out, out the, the trunk and yep. the roots. And yeah, especially if it's a already you know established or mature tree, you want to get a big deep hole for that tap root. That would ease the complaints if you could get it out and get the other one in a yeah. day later. Or so there's a, so okay. there's a guy next door to us taking us doing a stump removal of a tree that was this big. Oh, he was six hours. <laughs> and the gas engine, it was horrible. But anyway, it took a we burned time. ours. <laughs> Yeah, those stump removal. Oh, yeah, they're just and big. That tree's been carved by teeth. I don't know. I got it. I tell you, one of the things I'm hoping eventually we can establish a tree service. So what I would like to do is actually, if we could do the right price or something, contract them so that they're basically coming and doing the whole city maintenance it as needed, where needed, a certain amount of trees every time. But I do think that that cost would justify to keep our trees around. It's a lot of stuff for Josh and Dan to keep trimmed up or our street. Right, but if they were trained really well, 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 that is something we're doing. We're getting them into some other classes as well yeah. too. Yeah, well, Jorge is. I would trust his judgment. I think. That I think. Uh, I think. Yeah, I think he knows what he's doing. He, he seems very knowledgeable. Yeah. yeah. He can yeah. work with. Yeah, Josh. Yeah, My husband loves that. He could use another job. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, tennis courts on the Middle Vista. So it doesn't seem like anybody's playing tennis anymore. Yeah, that they do too. For That's That's really? not true. There are people that well, I guess they're playing pickleball too. But yeah. there's tennis at night. No, I live right there. So four courts, but there's four courts. Right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm surprised that Disney Bowl hasn't um, asked for relying for two. Oh, she did. So that's a city, that's owned by the school district. Right. And, and there's uh, no, is there a tennis team? We've talked to the school and they were interested. I talked with Carol Lloyd, who's president of the school mm -hmm. board, about the tennis. I was like, hey, so you guys have a tennis team? I'd love to turn those into pickleball courts myself. With how popular that thing is, it just ease up on Higgins a little bit, too. Yeah, yeah. Pickleball. So, Fastest growing sport in America. Can it be both? I want to lean into that. Can it be yeah, both? Just yeah, you just double put it lines. Okay. Yeah, double double lines. Lines. The, so old tennis, you say? the old tennis people, though, hate that they're Send it in at the tennis team this year, but they're hoping next year. But aren't there tennis courts at the high school? Oh, no. There are, and they look apocalyptic. The and they look worse than the ones in the Evidently, they told Cynthia, you guys get out that one? So, I, Honestly, I think that's, I wouldn't mind turning, I mean, if you could have 10 pickleball courts, we could run tournaments, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, so. yeah. last time I talked to Cynthia about it, the high school wasn't interested in, they, they don't want the liability of having other, having people outside of the school on so their have property. So they'd have to associate IGA. that property at that point, or lease it. An IGA between the city and the... School district. They've done that at um, the Tuca Terrace schools. You know that we've had that IGA. It's elapsed now, but you know, for years they've done. You mean the tennis courts over there by the high school that nobody uses anymore? Yeah. Yeah. They're totally defunct. Yeah. Okay. So you, you know about it. It's a it's a thing. Yeah, but the city could. I mean, you want to bring people in, you know, to the city instead of having all that here at the park. 
think about all the people you could bring in for a tournament. <laughs> if we had ten courts. I know. I you, and honestly, you, I mean, what they're doing in Tucson and Phoenix, what they charge and what people are willing to do for those tournaments. It, yeah. it, I'd love to lean into the recreation aspects for getting people here like that. They're doing it inside of Phoenix. That's really cool. Using big, big empty spaces. Yeah, oh, they'd love to come big, down to our high school weather yeah. and play yeah. football. Yeah. 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 Especially with that mountain shaded right there, right behind that. So, mm -hmm. um, people like to play late at night. There's been a lot of late night at people that was right good. before. I'm glad they are. I the just, lights are on. Mm -hmm. and it's what till ten, I think. You know. Do they put quarters in the lights? I don't even know. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. found that out from yeah. Carlo. Really? Um, yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. Thing you put a quarter in. Like the the That's a big deal. That's yeah, yeah. Big deal. I think the school is losing. They need to update our fees like us. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, so you have a plan to investigate that, or what's? Well, it's, it's, it was serendipitous that you guys, because I was, I talked to Carol like two weeks ago about that, because I was like. We, I tell the guys to clean up around them half the time anyway, because people will be calling being like, why is the tennis court got Because it's your fault, yeah. yeah. Josh, just please take care of it. Yeah. Well, it's in the middle of the park, so it's a natural yeah, it looks like yeah. I should, I would, it should be I would happily, if you guys want me to, ask, talk to Carol about maybe even just one of the courts or something going to pickleball. And you know, maybe we should look and see if there's pickleball teams with the high schools yet, mm -hmm. or if there's any kind of competing there. Uh, kids with the school playing. going into that direction. Mm -hmm. right. no, you see kids out there sometimes. Yeah, I used to play on those courts all the time, and, and we would go weed them, and we'd sweep them. <laughs> you sound like pilot's out of the airport right now. <laughs> <laughs> Do it yourself. Okay, yeah. anything yes, else on Yes, we would like you to follow up on that. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> I'll happily do that. So, last agenda item, um, water-wise audit for the parks. You guys were going to request one. I, I, so, the, I don't know how long it's, be, it's on, but um, watering Bermuda for just a few minutes twice a day is not getting down into the roots. And um, I just, I think water-wise would support us on that, that my impression is that you know, like once a week you do a stone or deep water or something like that, because it's already greening up with just that little bit. But um, and the yeah. trees would be happier. Yeah, right. And then you know the winds blowing, the, the sprinklers around, and because it's at four o'clock in the afternoon, it's real early in the morning. That's great. I just think um, yeah, it'd be nice to get some expert advice. We, what park are you talking about? Anything particular? Because well, we had a I water see. audit last year. Yeah, Higgins, you had a water audit? Yeah, we mm -hmm. had Arizona Water reached out to us and they asked about some of the parks. We only hit up ones where there was higher usage, like um, okay. grassy. Did you do this? Um, no, that wasn't part of that study. Yeah. So, so they, they said you got three and they gave us our highest bills to look at. So. Cause Right, I'm sure you'd like to cut back on water, right? Yeah. Because how often is uh, Grassy Park being watered? Daily? Yeah, see that, you know, that's crazy. You know, that. Yeah, for, for the plant usage, okay. the idea is yes. that you would water less often but water deeper so that the soil holds the water and the roots go down. And gotcha. So area. instead of 15 minutes, we're talking 30 or 45 and then less throughout the week. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I think waterwise would come and and do all that for you. You know, measure how, what's coming out of the sprinklers, because it's hard to know when they're moving around how much is actually getting. You know, it seems like you should have at least an inch right on Bermuda water, um, or an inch or two a week, and then that should go down a foot or two. And it depends on the soil. Right, which is, you know, people drove on that part before we put grass on there, so it's not, it's pretty much bad. I, I know that, yeah, people have complained to me about Vista Park, that it never gets watered. I don't, I don't see it, so I, 
Um, I'm not a real big walker. <laughs> I live by the playground. <laughs> okay. So that doesn't get watered, right? No, I mean, it's, I've seen the sprinklers, but yeah, like you said, it could probably use the right water and would get it. You know, <coughs> the biggest it issue with Vista is the system itself. It really needs a whole new sprinkler system. If you've ever noticed when we have it on, there's only like two. We have to do, they have these big lines down the field, and nobody knows the exact layout of this stuff either. Burned out in sea hall. That's going to be set for a while. And how are the pipes? Probably 50, 60, 100 years old. I, I honestly don't know. I think I saw an image on Google where um, Freeport had done some reclamation on the Vista, and I think Matt said the pipes were at some point replaced with the PVC, at least, but I don't know for sure. I mean, that would still have been 10 years plus ago, I think. The PVC so pre would last pre fire metal, though. Yeah. Because yeah. they used to pump mine water. Which was acidic, right? So that's it's free. So that's good. Yeah. It's way to alkaline soil. Nobody liked the pollutants, right? And they stopped that. Well, they, place they, the they used to take sulfuric acid from the mine in, down in Douglas and put it on the fields. In Douglas? In the, in the valley up around Del Freeman. They had big tankers and they put the sulfuric acid directly on the fields because it would lower mm -hmm. the pH. <laughs> wow. Words. Um, <laughs> So, but as far as the recommend discussion of WaterWise, so um, you want me to reach out to WaterWise and see if they'd be willing to do that? Yeah, I think that's their job, right? That um, they try to help everybody save water by um, you know, helping you measure and how much you really need to put on. And yeah, we want healthy parts, but we don't want to waste water. Yeah. And, and you basically water from the morning, right? I mean, yeah, they start first and thing, night, and rotate yeah. pretty much yeah, throughout so the day. Trying before the sun comes days. up, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's what, and Higgins, they're watering early in the morning, yeah, and also for in the yeah. afternoon. And at, at Garfield, it's whenever my dog walks out into the, <laughs> into the grass <laughs> and the sprinkling <laughs> oh, oh, she and, and she hates <laughs> <and she laughs> to get wet, so it's very upsetting. <laughs> So otherwise, I will go ahead and reach out to them and see if they will do a water audit on, um, do you want specifically Vista? I, it seems like, you know, if you want to, to get a save, handle on that save grass water, area. Save yeah. water in all the parks, I mean, I think yeah. that's their, yeah. their okay. mission. Yeah, but I, I was thinking maybe start with Vista because it's yeah. so big. It's big. And, it's big. It's so big. It's not really and working. That's what people have complained to me about. Yeah. But I mean, just for them to sit down with, with Josh and Dan, because they're the ones setting the timers, to convince them, because Josh is not hearing what I have to say. Well, I hear what you say, so I mean, it makes a lot of sense, too. And that's, Bermuda just, you know, it has the roots that go down that far, so they, you know, if you can pump, pump those up, you're not going to need a little bit every day. It does make sense because if you're only doing it, it's closer to the surface. You got it's going to evaporate. Yeah. 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 And the four o'clock in the afternoon, and that's just being blown around. So, so the, the thing is, schedule. So the thing is, though, if the Vista Park it has defunct machinery, you know, but I mean, it works. It works. It's just. Uh, you know, I mean, it's manual operated, so literally oh, Dan and Josh go and crank on oh, sprinklers they all, they all do their work. jobs, okay. and they'll come back and swap they those ones off and go to the next one down the line. <laughs> so, well, they could do everything, don't they? They do a lot. I appreciate those guys immensely. They, I mean, we do I wish we could make our parks better, but for what they have and what they do, it's impressive, I think. So. What about the prisoners? We do, yeah, we do uh, like the DLC a lot. a lot, yeah. They do and, a lot. And that's something else that Josh, he hadn't, hasn't used them as much. It's mostly been the street crew handling that, because we had a lot of cleanup when we didn't have them for with yeah. all the firewise stuff. But mm -hmm. this year, Josh is utilizing the his DOC crew a lot more for parks that is even beautification, cleanup Arizona Street, and all that kind of stuff. So that nice. They 
they do a lot of work. It's really nice. Man, it's yeah. We would they clean my alley. It's just oh, they don't that's want. good because there's real trade-offs with those guys. <laughs> <laughs> pros and cons. But we definitely wouldn't get as much done without cons. Them. We get pros, we get the pros using the cons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean to do that one. <laughs> so are you, are you still looking for a half-time person? Because they always quit? or cause you Oh, have... no. Um, so, right. So Doug um, Simmons is our facility specialist. So he does custodial stuff. But he is also at the new fiscal going to be on full-time. So his position will be uh, those as well as covering for parks on the weekends okay. and stuff. And what I'm looking at and talk, Matt and I are talking about is uh, getting a split shift between Dan, Josh, and Doug so that there's somebody always available more so. So, Great. we'll see. Great. Thanks. Anything else about um, water? water? <laughs> So, huh? any member comments? Yes. I want to thank you guys. Uh, Vista Park, or not Vista Park, uh, City Park looks great, where you finally took care of that falling off plaster. And stuck and, out. And, uh, you had to build a whole new wall. For I know, time. but it's like, well, finally, thank you for yeah. cleaning it Persistence. And the Persistence. Because no, that's such oh, a classic yeah. park, but it just yeah. looks, you did such a nice job. I'm going to check that out. So happy to have Victor. He, Victor De La Rosa is our facilities guy now, maintenance guy, and he's right. a talented individual. So. Oh, okay. Now there is, I just got up there about four days ago, there's the fence, somebody has hit, hit that fence up above, and caved it in, you know, the nice... Uh, yeah, it got hit they last all, year, Yeah, it too. got hit in a couple places. Um, so I, but uh, where the stair is going up, it's such so nice, you know, it's great. Yeah. Uh, I'll say this was City Park, too, just to segue. Um, Shippo has some grants. They sent out some stuff. It's a 40% match, but I was thinking about the City Park specifically because it's historical. Some of those lights that have been smashed off and yeah. the fencing. Um, I was going to talk to Stephen Matt and see if they're okay with me pursuing that Great. for getting that stuff updated. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Cool. Um, any other member comments? Grassy Park looks wonderful. The grass, woo, good job. Yeah. Spend and a lot of time there. The Rose Garden, the, we can't do it. The Bloomers, we cannot do it. But I've talked to uh, Vince Madrid, who is right across the street, and he is concerned so he wants to help so i think if the bloomers and he and he has some, some friends and the city could meet sometime maybe next week and make a plan um next week or the week after or whatever yeah uh, let's post pool if it's all right post pool yes 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 he's exhausted uh, but yeah we're, we we're, we're throwing up our hands we can't do it so um that's any anybody else? What is dying? The plants are dying there. Now? Yeah, yeah, and we we've, yeah. we've planted from water. Lots of, or from no, the yeah, irrigation. The grass. Good. We don't know what the problem is. Well, the deer don't help. Oh, the deer. It we needs a barrier from the grass. Is what it needs. Yeah, we've put uh, you know hundreds of dollars into that park. You guys area. have weeded. You've planted new plants. We've yeah, and uh, we can't do. Well, I've got a half acre down to Sunset Acres, and the deer jump over the four foot fence and eat everything. Yeah, I mean, it's tough. So maybe the deer. Is. But then there are rose bushes around town that no one has touched for years, and they're they gorgeous. Go. We have one in our yard. We didn't know it was there. We dug it out, and it was in the back. And yeah, it's, yeah, it's so as tall unfair. as the house. It's purple and beautiful. So unfair. So, anybody else? Um, what's the plan for the restroom in Garfield Park? Um, stainless steel. That's the plan. Um, and the biggest holdup right now is the plumbing, plumbing that's in there is um, it'll take some modification to get stainless steel. So we might have to do some, Josh has been trying to get quotes from multiple people in order to do that. And Struce Plumbing is they actually thought they, they were trying to reach your, over to Europe to find a special piece that would allow us to do it. So we are working that. That's a, but we're tired of replacing porcelain ones and everything else, so we need to actually do it just like Sierra Vista with stainless steel and 
<laughs> like I like that scene. No moving parts. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, no yeah, toilet seat, right? Just pretty much, yeah. yeah. That's beach, a... beach stuff. <laughs> or like the Chinese do, you do a trough. The whole. <laughs> I prefer the Japanese style. There you got going on. <laughs> toilet seat. That's the Japanese style. Yeah, people go there to go visit just to visit toilets. Yeah. yeah. Just to visit fancy toilets. So at one time you were going to put in a whole new building at Garfield. It didn't have the money for it this year. It just slowly continued on with what needed to go in with the infrastructure mm -hmm. in order to do that. But that money is still set aside, and we're going to hopefully keep that in the books. Maybe just have to find some additional funding or budget for it. So the pool to all the money. And it doesn't have to be a men and women's room. It can just be one unisex. Right? It could, yeah. The one we had, I mean, we literally had the whole building, everything set, and I can't recall what exactly it was. But it jumped it up a significant amount of like over oh, thirty thousand more or something. Might have had to do with getting a crane to be able to put the building in. I think. So it's a prefab kind of thing yep. that we just set. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's a good way to go because then it meets all the requirements that are needed. ADAs. I mean, all bathrooms. If you're going to put a new one in, you need an adult changing table now. So. Oh, yeah. Well, that's one. So this is a lower table. Um, it's lower and longer. Like a bed? <laughs> Basically, instead of just a baby God. one, they need to be able to have a larger one for, you know, ADA aspects. That disability chair at uh, the pool doesn't have a cover on it anymore, but at, in, at uh, Pima County, if the pool's there, they just say there is a chair available and tell us and we'll bring it out and set it up. So oh, that's a good idea. Portable? Could take it. I, I, no, I think, oh, I think there's a stand, yeah, okay. and then they just bring it up, set it in okay. there, screw it in, or however they do it. But, you know, if it's a plastic chair, so it's going to get eaten up by the sun. No, but thank you for, I did have that thought too, and told Josh to look for that, and I think he had said it's MIA. So, yeah. You're right, uh, just a tarp, I guess, with the front. Something, yeah, yeah. definitely protect it. Tracy, you have anything? Tracy? We're ready to go. Six thirty-eight. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, Logan. Matt didn't want me to say. Um, mention the recreation arm or whatnot. I think he wants boys and girls club as well as you guys. Basically, the different entities that would benefit from a recreation arm. Um, to come together at some point to discuss what that would be. So in the city of Bisbee, we have, we have parks, but we don't have parks and recreation. So the idea would be to have actually an employee? Yep, eventually, yeah. That's, I mean, eventually we've created a whole parks and rec, it would be awesome. We can start small. We kind of did it last year without the pool. When we had the water slide and we had basketball. We'd actually like to do that with real programming. When I was a kid growing up in Valdez, Alaska, we had summer fun, which was your parents might pay a small fee, but then you'd go there and they'd take us to the gym, to the pool, we'd play duck duck goose, different activities, or go hiking, you know, having a shuttle. Um, and it's a very small town, just like this, too. Kind of funny, it's oil on that and it's mining here, but. Well, did you hire um, kids last summer for the, so we could do something like that again and have a... We're, we used the money from lifeguards to do that last, last year. year. So this year we are hiring, I think about five, a couple are going to be kind of working in public works. They did it last year and they really liked it. And then I think there's going to be a couple that are um, actually just helping out in the office oh. as far as that goes. Like paid interns? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yes, I mean, programming is the biggest thing. If we find somebody that could actually do some programming, it wouldn't take a whole lot. We got a lot of stuff here. We'd just be getting something together. So it wouldn't be just for kids. They might use programs for adults or... Absolutely. You know, we have the awesome fitness court where you could get things set up. I mean, the way I see recreation arm is be somebody that would be facilitating, hey, we got somebody that does yoga. You want to do a class over in the park? 
those type of things, getting that set up so we have more options for people, adults, and, and you know, St. Pat's Church, I'm pretty sure you guys are all familiar, Cynthia's kept you apprised with what's going on there, so between that, Higgins, I mean, there's... During COVID, they used to do classes over at Garfield, there'd be groups that would gather and do, they did yoga, and then there was somebody doing some other kind of classes. Yeah, exactly, so, just putting that all the yeah. 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 She's on the board of the city council. Yep, that's right. And you, you're in the know. Yeah, thank you. Um, I have nothing else. Um, it's good to see you guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice to see you. Yeah. Well, we're really excited about the pool, so that's yes. another big push. So. Yes, yes. Any future items for discussion besides park guidelines, permitting? Signage, follow up on signage. I'd like to see some more trash cans at Vista Park. <laughs> more trash cans? Yeah, at Vista Park. There's the dog ones, but I think there should be a few more. Um, it's just, there's not a lot on the lower, there's nothing on the upper. Yeah. It just maybe to get people to stop leaving out there <laughs> with more trash cans. And those little ones are kind of gross, I get that too. They're nice to have. But you don't always want to go up to it and hopefully like, put your stuff in. So I can you tell you, our guys really don't like cleaning I, them out. I know, I can imagine. <laughs> no, I well, the big ones, at least they'd mix in with other trash, you know? Right, so you're thinking, like, uh, so you just got your series just saying 55 barrel yep. with yep. the top or something? Yeah, just a little more. I think we yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, I think this encouraging people to not litter. Yeah. Putting the receptacle closer for mainly the dog poop. <laughs> just yeah, yeah, just yeah, just yeah. encourage yeah that, that hey, there is more. So here, don't poop. Yeah, I think it would encourage more. There's three trash cans in little Garfield Park. I pick up trash there every other day. But we have a lot in the in the playground. There's there's a there's a few, but you know maybe more perimeter. I'm thinking. Yeah, no, I get you. Like yeah. over by the kiosk, having one maybe over on the corner yeah. that area. Well, the, yeah, there's one by the. Yeah, because there's one over by the the bus stop, and it's always a nightmare. Because <laughs> it's it, it be it's it, it gets used. Yeah. So it's been. Yeah, have more. It's good. My husband likes to walk with his bucket and his, his grabber stick and oh. pick up trash. That's, oh, that's, that's good. That's good. So we do that all along the highway every yeah. month. We can do this. Put that on Facebook. Yeah, I can see that. Um, Anything else for a future discussion? So I just had more trash cans for Vista possibly yeah, discussion. Yeah. And then what else did you have on there? Just the park guidelines. Yep. Got that. Permitting. Um, yeah, I guess more talk on the gazebo and upper Vista. Yep. Price maybe and, or something. Yeah, or what you decide to do with the cedar tree, I guess. Well, <laughs> I think, Bill, you got the right idea. That's going to be a lot less of a painful situation if we can at the same time. Uh, well, the, the other approach might be to let people know what's going to happen. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you could you know, not let people know and quickly replace it. I think or that you was, let people know. Either way, they're going to be chain yes. themselves to that tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden, oh, yes. you know, they notice it's gone, then everybody will. Yeah. Right. I, I, don't I think know. that's part of the thought process with just keeping it. The, the, yeah. uh, besides it's keeping people away, it's, people are like, what's going on with that? You know? Yeah, they're, they're mad because it's blocked off, too. There's also that. Yeah. They're taking them all the space. <laughs> It's always something. You yeah. know, uh, Logan, I, I, I had sent in something to Lorraine a little while ago and wondering why there's, we don't really have any city park-like things out in San Jose where I live. Yeah, so, I agree. Why there any parks? Yeah, there? you know yeah. what? You guys do have them in the plans, but that was never... They have all the kids. Oh, right. well, and you know, you know where, where the annex is, I, my question was, do we have any affiliation with... Uh, with the, the library annex and that, that whole property. Because that's, that's, a, that's a beautiful landscape area. Yeah, it is through, we have the library is connected with that, and that's really the only aspect that we're connected with through the city. Um, 
Are you, did you know that they are, they have like a huge grant and they're developing that whole area? The garden? Um, not that whole oh. field area. I mean, I believe they're going to be putting in a few different types of park type amenities. I don't recall everything that it was. Oh, that's good. We did see that. there. Yeah. Behind, yeah. right, where all the kids, where all the kids yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. Which would be Red nice because everything gets locked up if it's uh, school property. So right. That's true. Continue right. to be school property. So unless there's a IGA with the city and the liability or whatever, then they'll continue to lock Because there are a lot of kids, there's a lot of kids out there. I do right, you know, yeah. It's yeah. terrible. And I blame Anna Klein because she never goes to bed for the kids out in San Jose. Is she San Jose? Yeah, for 30 years. Oh, I, I didn't know that she was my ward. <laughs> I thought it was somebody yeah. else that was out there. He did get a new playground at Tin Town, but I mean, that's not... It's really oh, nice. Well, that's, it's no. fabulous. It's fabulous. Yeah. Tin Town. Yeah, it's oh. really nice. Yeah, that's nice. Um, but you're right. That is some place that we could... In fact, I would probably guess there's a higher child density in that area. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I think there is. That's, that's, what, I, that's what I've been told. Well, there's the walking trails that... Uh, Oh, are you interested? No, no, no. And they, no, just like knowing what they're doing. Can't just brag it out. Okay. 